The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Yes, yes, yes. This is Devin's Playground. My name is Devin Ashley. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have so much going on, like usual, of course. But let me introduce everybody. Let's go around the room. Feisty Pisces. Lady Hustler. Siobhan. And our guest today, say hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Marla Martinson. Yay. Welcome. We have been talking about this. Marla is very important to Devin's Playground. She is here sitting in, I don't know, as somewhat of a, it's almost like you're like our little spirit guide today. <laughs> you She's are a matchmaker by trade. Yes. You also, you're an author and you, you do a whole bunch of wonderful things, but anyone who follows our shows knows that the ladies of Devon's Playground, we need help. <laughs> we need to know things. Guidance. Specific <laughs> guidance, guidance. Thank you. Guidance. That we yeah. need in order to just. I, I, find and, love. Is it? Yes, find love. We're find hopeless. love. Right. We're, right. Are we admitting that we need, that we're wanting to find love? No. <laughs> <laughs> we're not yes. admitting it yet, but yes. maybe we are. You the have to. Cracked. Lady has the door some... cracked. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. have to. Yeah. It's like I do, but I don't. You know, once I get it, I probably won't want it anymore. <laughs> so do you think that admitting that you want love is, is admitting a, a little bit of weakness? You don't want to do that. You don't want to admit that you want that. I mean, I'll take it if it comes. I don't necessarily want it. That's our problem, Feisty. <laughs> That's our problem. I'll take it, though. Yeah. Okay, so first we're going to start with you, of course, with Sandbox Scandal. What is what is going on in Sandbox Scandal? Well, my Sandbox Scandal is Marla. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sandbox. I think we should all go around and just kind of do our dating. Let's, yeah. Well, let's our, explain let's let's give a background right i think that's where we're going to start marla because we like to be open and honest with with our show with our viewers and we're going to be honest with you i think the three of us the three of us single ladies of devon's playground we'll, we'll we'll explain a little bit of our dating life background how about that Let's start with you, Lena. Right, oh, oh, we're starting off with me. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, so dating background. Where do I begin? It all started. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> Give us night. the gist of it, honey. Okay. <laughs> no, um, I get approached a lot by <laughs> men. Rolls I, eyes. Rolls eyes. We I know. know. You're Already. a beautiful woman. Oh, shut up. Not like that. <laughs> but um, I dated a lot when I was younger and as I got older I kind of just lost the whole feeling of dating um, I still find it kind of hard to describe what dating is um, I tend to meet guys who don't want a relationship and it kind of confuses things because I don't know should I stick around with this person if I like him or do I move on and find someone else who is like wanting to to potentially have a girlfriend, get married, and all that. When that was type your of last? Re when was your last, last serious relationship? My last relationship was six years ago. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's like. We would Boyfriend, call you girlfriend, like a titled relationship. You have we to would call you a serial dater, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you agree with that? You are yeah. constantly dating, and but you're not dating anybody seriously, right? Yeah. Right. I would agree. And Feisty, it, what do you think about you? Mm, me, I just <laughs> like float around the city. <laughs> no, but but explain to Marla the past year you've been. Uh, nothing. Say oh, it. celibate. You've been, she's yeah, been celibate. Yeah, I've been celibate. So I'm year. trying this new approach, Marla. <laughs> where, you know, I'm How's waiting. that working for you? <sighs> it's hard. Like, even today in Starbucks, I was kind of getting... Uh, <laughs> those bums were starting to look nice to me. Stop. Um, but... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... Uh, 
explain your dating for the past. I there is no dating. I've just been, I've been approached literally within the last two years by married men, guys Mm -hmm. in relationships, guys that are living with their girlfriends. I don't know what it is about me that they just feel that they need to approach me. But um, my last relationship was about four years ago, Mm -hmm. serious relationship. And I've just been kind of on the mess around tip, you know? Mm. I call you when I need you, and that's about it. (laughs) But I'm open to love. You are open to love. That's good. Also, my role in relationships is I treat guys better. I I feel like I put them first, you know? And I'm right now, I'm all about me. So I'm trying to put me first Mm. and them, like, (laughs) tenth. Oh, wow. (laughs) Hopefully, you know. That's me. What about well, you? very nice. I I think that you beautiful ladies, you deserve love, of course, obviously. <laughs> um, Marla, with me, um, I I've been <laughs> single since 2007. I also kind of date. A, I date and don't take seriously anybody, and probably haven't for the past five years. And so I, I was just talking to Lady Hesla about. I'm still talking to that redheaded guy. Remember I told you about oh him like gosh. so long ago. So I'm still talking to him, but he made some weird phone call to me when he was drunk ex- talking about feelings. And it just made me like a big turn off, like, <laughs> wah, wah. I don't want to talk to you. So it's, it's, I don't know. I want love because I think everybody wants somebody that they can partner up with in life, but I'm not taking anybody seriously. And I I'm sure that's a personal problem. <laughs> I'm sure it is. So what what do you think, Marla, with regards to, first of all, with, oh, yes, what? Oh, I had something to Keep add. going, keep going. Okay. I tend to be very negative. I <laughs> think negative. I go straight for the, he can be perfect in some way, form, never whatever. ever perfect. No, but I'm saying perfect for me. And then they'll say something, and instead of me just thinking it's nothing, I think I go real left. And then I go, like, think really, really, really negative thoughts. And then that also stops me from really, like, (laughs) opening myself up. Lady Hustler, I just want to tell you, the chat says they feel sorry for you, Hustler. They feel sorry for you. You you deserve love, baby girl. (laughs) So Marla, what do you what do you think? Are we typical for what you see of LA girls, or are we just a <laughs> phenomenon? That well, you're just like... it's interesting because here we have six years without a relationship, four and six. Yes, six four six. We're so, losers. But, but yeah, <laughs> and such beautiful, vibrant, intelligent women here. Yes. Now, yes. <laughs> I agree. I see a pattern, though. It seems like you all have basically the same story. Yeah. I would say. Look, if you want to relate, you are telling the universe, I'm all into law of attraction. I wrote a book called Excuse Me, Your Soulmate is Waiting, which is all about (laughs) attracting what you want into your life, whether it's a relationship or anything Mm -hmm. that you want. And what you're all doing is sending out those signals, keep away. And you even say you think negatively. So if you really do want love, you have to make that decision. And then you're going to have to switch those thoughts and the vibrations that you're putting out and and you can put those vibrations out that you're available and that you're ready for love and that you're open and you're not going to be looking for things that are wrong and there's Speaking a lot of my language th- there's a lot of things that you can do i have a lot of little um fun exercises things that i love vision boards you can do yeah. you know mm-hmm. or writing your script down about what you really want and not focusing mm-hmm. on what you don't want there's a lot of things that law of attraction things, yes. fun tools that you can use and, but specifically and for just, specifically for love though is what sure. you're saying because yeah. i think in general we all we do all those things just for general just for career i think right. we do we do that for um just success in our lives whatever the case I but i think mom. maybe <laughs> maybe we don't concentrate on the love portion Right. There's some you have some blockages. It sounds like there's some reason that you're looking for the negative. There's some reason that I'm you're blocked, Marla. I'm away. blocked. What makes up. it so bad is I feel like I'm gonna cry by the end of this. The show that we get to see okay, tears. We're not gonna cry. And there's look at you. Know, there's some people think they have to be in a relationship all the time, and that's not true. So right, you're taking right. a break, and and that that's well, great. I, mean, I so, feel like five years is a pretty long break. No, it, a is. Long break. it is. It is. You want to 
to get back in. Yeah. <laughs> get back into the action I there. Okay. Be by now. Especially if you want to have kids. I don't know what your situation yeah, that's is there. So you don't have, you know. A, Marla, quick question. The eggs when are I it. see these girls and their situations, I kind of feel like I can see what they're doing wrong. No, you don't. Yeah, I, I think that you. I, I, I think really that your standards know. are too high. <laughs> For me, what are my standards? You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you. And I think, Lady Hustler, yes. <laughs> I think that you concentrate, which is not a bad thing, but you concentrate on being the friend, mm-hmm. and which is good to have friendship with men that you're dating, but for for some reason you. <laughs> For some, sometimes guys want the snapback bitch type, and you just let everything roll off your back. That's you know, and that I can I can admit to that. That's one of the problems that I do have. Yeah, because I just feel like in a relationship, regardless, like it should always start off as friends. Like you know, and sometimes it's hard for me to kind of like break that that mold because I'm just so used to always being like. Oh, she's the homegirl. Mm-hmm. She's this. And then it's like, uh-oh, somebody caught feelings. And I feel like if I go to a guy and I'm like, okay, where do we stand as of now? In their minds, the way that they react, you would have thought, like I said, so are we going to be boyfriend and girlfriend right. tomorrow? And it's not it's not like that. It's just I kind of want to know where we stand, but that's the reaction that I get. Quick question, Marla. Um, what do you see in terms of men that are out there in L.A.? Because I think that's kind of what stops me is that I'm just assuming that everybody wants to just screw around and not be serious. I don't think so. And, uh, you know, the guys in their 20s, for sure, mm. or girls, too, they're, I don't do a lot of matchmaking with that age group because they're still out there having fun and mm-hmm. they want the hottest girl or the hottest mm-hmm. guy they can get. They're still all into yeah. that. And then when they get into their 30s, they're thinking a little bit, OK, well, maybe I should get a little more serious now. And if I want to think about having kids and the girls are like, well, I dated a lot of the bad boys mm-hmm. already. And now, you know, I got my heart broken. He doesn't have to be that good looking. Mm-hmm. And and then they get into the 40s and they're like, I just want a guy who has, you know, some hair in his own teeth. <laughs> I just want, like, he doesn't have to be six feet tall. Right. I just want a nice guy who will treat me well. And the guys are thinking about family and all that. So I do find L.A. tends to be a little more shallow than maybe some other yeah. places. They're looking mm-hmm. for maybe the bigger, better deal. The girls see all the rich guys and the guys see all the hot women coming from all right. over the world to be models and actresses. And so they think, oh, I'm going to have that. So I see a lot of that but there's a lot of great people out there too you know I went to your blog today and you mentioned um, speed dating Mm -hmm. and we actually were thinking about doing a group speed dating thing what is your I think that's fun when I was single I was living in Chicago and this was like late 90s and I looked up speed dating and all I could find was Jewish speed dating at the time nice, I'm, not, nice. I'm not Jewish so I didn't I thought, oh darn you know and then by the time then I found you know met my husband and got married so when speed Is dating really got He's not. (laughs) So anyway, I I never got to try it, but it looked like so much fun. If I was single, I'd definitely go. It doesn't it just seem. I remember that on Sex in the City when they uh, did speed dating. Remember Miranda? She lied about her occupation after she said she was an attorney. The guys didn't want to see her. Right. Right. I'm a stewardess. Right. 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 She got all these dates. Yeah. Yeah. So what is your what is your suggestion in terms of let's let's do Lady Hustler first. (laughs) What what I, I love besides how you just keep putting me on the <laughs> because I know for sure one hundred percent that you want love and you want to fall in love. I'm I not. I don't I'm not sure for your assumptions for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure hundred percent that I want to be in love right now. I'm a hundred. So. <laughs> <laughs> what would what would for Lady Hesla? What would you suggest for her? But you know, keeping the positivity open is one. What is something else that she could yeah, do? Yeah, you got to make that switch. I mean, something in you is blocking. You, you have something, and you, you figure it out. You got to kind of analyze because you're always looking for the negative. Right. So when you first when you look for the positive, I mean, actually, the negative stuff you can think. You know. All of us, like I've been with my husband 12 years, and when he does something irritating or he's Latin, you know, and he'll get all feisty, and then I'll just say, <laughs> okay, think of the positive. Honey, I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> right, right. I love your passion. <laughs> you got to switch it around, yeah. you know? So, so. Well, you, you know, know, we're also, Marla, 
ladies, some of us are ladies of color, and we also get that feistiness. <laughs> And I don't think that rolls over well with the men of color. <laughs> you know, that enthusiasm. You mean to... when you're feisty, they don't like Yeah, it? I just, I'm more like I want to crack a lamp across your head. <laughs> not celebrate your enthusiasm. No, they, no. Of course. You, you love them no matter what. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to date. I really like want to date outside my race now. I really do. Are you serious? I'm this dead serious. This is the serious. first I'm hearing of this. I know. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Well, give it a try. Anybody yeah. you're attracted to, you know, I mean, why not? Yeah. The, the, oh, so basically the chat says, yes, love is a joke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And they also said Feisty every- gave up on, on black men, basically. Uh, she didn't give <laughs> She did not give up on black I didn't men. I give up. I just said I'm willing to, you know. Open your horizons. Exactly. Expand a little yeah. bit. You guys gave up on us a long time ago. Ah, so tell us, Marla, about you and your husband. You mentioned him. Um, obviously, it's important, you know, you, you're, a, you're a matchmaker, that you have a really strong, healthy relationship. How do you keep that going 20 years I did I do notice that I I think people do trust me more as a matchmaker that I'm married because they'll say are you married how'd you meet your husband because imagine at my age now if I I like I couldn't even find a match for myself. How am I going right, to find one for right, them, right? right? It are happens you, a lot. A There's a lot. Oh, are you giving a low blow to Patty Stinger, Marla? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she get mar- uh, engaged again? Now? Yeah. Maybe, so I think yeah. she's engaged. Yeah. Yeah. She now talk about feisty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's Gemini, though, she's, so she's crazy. I'm Gemini, too. <laughs> oh, you are? <laughs> <laughs> woo yeah, but I, I definitely like have two people in here, but we're not. We're just very kind of zen. Yeah. And then if you push me really far, I will kind yeah. of crack. Yeah. You know, but you have, to, you have to really push me. So p- people always ask me if I know her, and oh, what do you think? And I, I said, yeah, that's what I do. I do what she does, but I don't yell at my clients <laughs> unless you really push me. Right. <laughs> okay. So with your so, clients specifically, well, let's let's um, talk about that with your clients. What is it that you do um, initially? Do you sit down with them, just kind of interview them, or what mm-hmm. is your process? I do. I, for example, we just uh, I just got a new guy yesterday. I went to his house to to I like to go to their ho- homes. I have a boutique service, so just a small group of very upscale guys who are real serious about finding love. And so I like to go to their homes and see their lifestyle. And I could yeah. tell the women, yeah, you know, he's got a great place. And some of these guys, they have amazing, they have decorators or their places are just spotless and fabulous. We were talking about hoarders earlier, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. Right. So they, they don't look like the typical bachelor with, right. you know, beer cans as decorations or anything <laughs> like that. They're like really nice. And so I'll go there and, and sit down and for an hour or two. Uh, sometimes we'll go to lunch or whatever so that I can talk to them and see their lifestyle, what they're looking for in a lady, see their personality and everything get a good idea of them and then from then on we're in touch all the time and after each date i get feedback so we build on what's going right or wrong so with the guys when you're sitting with them and they're saying you know they're having issues finding their match what is their biggest complaint well depends on it okay one guy is in the music business and so he's out at uh, clubs and he goes to vegas and different places so he says, I'm really not going to find my wife in a place like that, right. you know, because the girls are younger and they're partying and stuff. So it de- sometimes depending on what they do for a living, what who they're around, if they're always around men or married people or something like a club situation, then they'll and they're really busy. Then they'll hire me to just help them right. cut through that and find the. I kind think of lady people are to. so busy they're that, busy lo- too. that love is not I, I'm serious. I think love is on. The last shelf that they're looking at. They have so many things that they're doing. But I also think a lot of people are pretend busy, too. And they're just pretending that they're just so busy like that super they can't busy. do anything. Oh, right. yeah. Well, I do have another guy in the entertainment business, and he really is so busy because he's got a show and he does other shows. At this, and he wants somebody, so I'll give him a number of a lady and then or one or two ladies. Okay, meet these people. And then the ladies get all upset. They're like, well, I, he hasn't called. And then he oh, called yeah. and said he'll call me back or left a message and said he'll call tomorrow at 4. He never did. Uh, he doesn't really care. And I'm, no, 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 he does. He's great. Great. He's handsome. He's yeah. you know successful. He's great. He's busy. He's so busy. So it's kind of like a double edged sword. Like they really yeah. want they they you can't give up your career because it's so great. You know, and they need it and they love it. But and they want love too. So so we brought it. up the what was it millionaire matchmaker that 
that she has her own show. Is that something that you would be interested in doing some sort of like reality show kind of showing the behind the scenes of what goes on and yeah you know the um i've been approached before and and uh had some things kind of nothing has panned out yet in that but they're the market's kind of oversaturated with matchmaking yeah. shows yeah. right now and dating shows and you need you need a spin i got it okay, hold on wait a second new. you're matching fat girls oh, oh my <laughs> gosh she's not fat girls that. fat girls with the right match what do you think Chat. <laughs> chat. Chat, what do you like, think? Well, that. what I'm I'm saying, it's a niche. It's a niche. Niche. It's a niche <laughs> that needs to be filled. Thank Just you, putting honey. it in the air. Okay. My idea. I have a question too. I think that signs are really important. I agree. Do you try Astrological? To, yeah. Yes. So do you think that, do you try to match according to their signs as well? No, there's there's two things I don't like to match is uh, astrological signs and eye color. No. <laughs> really? Like really? But I don't know about those I I know like my sign, if I read my traits, I really have those and my husband has his and everything. But I think there's other things like your rising and the moon and That's all true. this other stuff. And I don't, I think it would just be, it's hard enough just to get people to you know, say yes to somebody's picture, let alone, yeah. you know, and then try to fix up the signs and all that. But, yeah. yeah. So talk about real quickly, I is there, you have a new book out now? Mm-hmm. What's a new book called Hearts on the Line, The Elusive Pursuit of Love in the City of Angels. Oh my gosh, Ooh, that, that sounds that amazing. <laughs> Tell us a little right bit here. about all that. Right. Yeah, we do. It is, it's the sequel. I wrote a book called Diary of a Beverly Hills Matchmaker, and that's a nice. memoir. And then this is the sequel, but you don't have to read the other one first. You can just oh, see that. Hearts on nice. the line. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And it's really juicy. It tells about uh, me on the job at, I was working for a Beverly Hills matchmaking service, so that's, and then I went out on my own. And it has a lot of stories about me and my Latin husband and, and just stories about clients and things that happen. It's really, it's funny, it's poignant, it's touching, it's fun, funny, it's got everything. How do you get started in a business like this? Like, how did you... Um, back in like 2001, 2002, I used to be an actress slash waitress for years and years, <laughs> like 20 years. And I lived in Chicago too and out here. And when I was 39, I said, I am not going to be a 40 year old waitress. I cannot put on an apron. Mm-hmm. You know, again, I just was done. It was like, I can't. And I had been, was dating my now husband and he had a friend who was taking over the video, the the management position at a video dating service and she said hey Marla if you need a part-time job I'll hire you and I said oh good because I need another gig I don't want to go back to waitressing so I started working there had so much fun I was the videographer I felt like a movie director I was asking everybody what do you want in a man what do you want in a woman awesome and then I was hearing so many stories that I started taking notes in case I ever wanted to write a book one day left there and then ended up getting a a job at a Beverly Hills matchmaking firm. I worked there for seven years, was the VP of matchmaking and everything. And then in 2009, and and in 2008, I had a book come out called Excuse Me, Your Soulmate is Waiting. All those notes I kept, you know, that was a dating advice book. And then in 2009, left the service. 2010, ended up starting my own company called Cupid for Hire. Ooh. And uh, I'm on my own now. So tell us about that. How do people find you? And, and my my um, uh, website is marlamartinson.com. M a r l a m a r t e n s o n dot com or Cupid for Hire. F o r Cupid for Hire dot com. And uh, yeah, my my website marlamartinson.com is has my blog. It's got my books. You can email me um, videos. A lot of fun stuff on there. Very nice. Well, we are. I mean. Such a such a <laughs> wealth of information. The woman writes books, multiple books. Yeah. She has a lot of knowledge. And she's I've read here a lot with of us. dating books though, and those I just don't feel like those work. Well, what do you think? Or what maybe is, I'm just not following. You're not open. It. You're not. You're not <laughs> open. Just we're, we're, yeah. we're you're reading, not open to. We're reading it, it and true. just not getting it. That's, I'm telling you. I follow some of the tips, though, and I'm still single. <laughs> well, one thing that me and my sister have talked about, because she's recently met someone that she's like, is they're both infatuated with each other or whatnot. And um, she she's hard. Like, she's very hard. Like, no love, uh, don't want it. Or whatnot, and she we had a conversation, and she just basically said, like, now it's just come to the time where 
you have to be open for it. You have to be yes. willing to accept it. It's true. So, I mean, I get that. But sometimes, it, like I said, it can be very hard. You just, you don't know. You don't know if you're wasting your time. You don't know. Like, you trying to accept it, but you don't want to accept every Tom, Dick, and Harry that comes That's your true. way. So I'm going to so, go ahead and just, yeah, we just say what? We're open. My heart is open, but my legs yeah. are still going to be closed. Right. So don't, <laughs> don't get too excited, honey. Right. But I have something else that I think that we've been doing wrong, or at least I know I've been doing wrong. <laughs> okay, because my little redheaded guy, right? I've been talking to him, and he has, like, so much love for me. Aww. And I it's feel always I'm sorry to cut you off. I feel like there's always one person that likes the other person more. Like when Do you, you find go, that to be true? You can never Yeah, I mean probably. And, see, and it's so funny because it's usually when the girl. But when I was talking to my sister, she said that the guy was just on point with her at like they both were like, I don't date to date. Like I date because we're going to move to the next level. So that's very hard to find, but not to cut you off, but there's always one person that likes the other person more. I just, that always happens. And, and I don't know. So the thing about this this redheaded guy or whatever the case is, it's not like, I mean, we have a good time together. It's not like anything's wrong. He is a little, he's a lot younger than I am. And I think that that holds me, me Well, why'd you say we? Bit. Well, <laughs> you have, you have, Oh, this is why I said it. I know exactly why I said it. <laughs> because you have people who are not chasing you, who are trying to date you. But what is the reason holding you back? Because, oh, this person, what? what is, I just want to be. So somebody's pursuing you. What is the reason? If you want love so badly, what is the reason that you're not? Because I just want to be able to fill it. Like, I want to be able to fill that connection where I want to pursue it as well you know maybe I, it doesn't happen like that anymore maybe it does we, though you just sometimes you just get a feeling like oh my god i kind of like him you know yeah but maybe that's the same feeling you had in high school and you just want to feel like you're young again i mean this is <laughs> well, this I am is still young maybe we shouldn't have that fe- maybe we should grow out of that feeling is what no, i'm saying butter- just morally think about this right i, I, I know why we're that. debating i think butterflies that, still exist that whole the high school thing and in our 20s that's hormones you know our i mean i i made so many bad decisions on yeah. hormones i mean i got oh. married you know a couple times too many <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, myself you know had tattoo on my butt you yeah. know, <laughs> tiger through it <laughs> so dramatic right. and then that oxytocin so you know yeah. when you sleep yeah. with somebody you attach to the guy and I, you think he's some creep you think oh yeah. I'm in love let's yeah. get married right. he's like right. ah, bad boy so yeah a lot of that's hormones and we expect that to, to happen all the time You see, and I think that's what people are waiting for that oh I want that chemistry that right. love that passion and it's hard to sustain and it will never sustain like that Mm -hmm. so you do have to find somebody that can be your best friend that you're going to grow old with but you have to have some sparks too because if there's no sex if there's no romance or spark it's you're going to go look for that elsewhere so it's a fine balance you you can't expect to feel like you did in high school or in your 20s (laughs) but you have to feel something marla i don't want to offend you but the chat tells me don't trust wet (laughs) redheaded guys Oh gosh! Don't oh trust God. redheads. Oh, this is a travesty. <laughs> I'm so offended. I well, it was so funny because all my life, you know, I'm a redhead and always had bright red hair. Never had a problem with me. You know, like I said, I was married a couple other times. Always yeah. had a boyfriend. Guys always liked me. Then when I became a matchmaker and I'm sitting there writing, to, you know, what would, oh, would yeah. you like in a woman? And do you? Uh, we got even down to cup size. You know, it was oh, crazy. Wow. They're so picky. Oh, and all, <laughs> hair colors. Uh, yeah, no redheads. Oh <laughs> like, my god! Oh no, redheads! Of the wow. Time, and what? I'm like, what? That's so and then, weird. And then uh, I'd say, why? Sometimes I'd ask why. Now sometimes they say, well, I don't like the pasty skin, or I don't like the. Oh my god. Okay, fine, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, that, but when they'd say, oh, because they have a temper. Now that, you know, I understand if you don't like the look, that's right. fine. But but the temper part, that's just a you know yeah. fantasy that's not yeah. true well, okay chat that was right? west, that was west <laughs> right. coast fa- west coast fam says don't trust redheads uh, and marla says you have to trust them no, and what's not to trust type it in i want to know yeah <laughs> also asa who's always in the chat oh, says hello awesome. to the ladies of the playground 
Mm-hmm. We are going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to listen to a little bit. Let's go to Siobhan with a little, what would Devin's Playground do? Let's give us a tease. Um, Matchmaking. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we have the a theme, topic. you guys. This is a theme show. Thank you so much for joining us. The guys in the chat, stay there because we need your help too, okay? Sunny isn't here for us to berate. Sunny, I miss you. Ah. Let's take a break. We'll be back in 30 seconds. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. This is Devin's Playground. My name is Devin Ashley. Hi. I love you guys. <laughs> Siobhan, what would Devin's Playground do? Um, okay, so, I, well, here's my question. Yes. Um, has any of your friends, like, played matchmaker with you? Um, have they? And if if they haven't, would you allow, like, if, if one of your best friends is like, okay, I'm going to play matchmaker. I'm setting you up on a blind date. Like, because I know your exact type, I know, and you have to go. Like, are you open, ladies? Well, I would. I would be head. totally open. Honestly, I would be totally open to that. I think that I'm a really difficult person to do that with because I have so many ambiguous qualities that I like about me. But men. if it, if it's a friend that have, has known you forever, yeah, that's why yeah. I'm saying if it was somebody like that, I would definitely. But say, you mean they can't? See, we can't see their picture, and they no, can't see ours? completely blind. I don't know if I would do that. Would Can you trust your friends enough to to, to go? No, not you. Not wouldn't? even your best friends. No. Why? Yes, you would, Lady Hessa, because you wanted us to do the blind <laughs> no. date thing with you for the thing that you want. But first of all, I only did that because I knew you guys wasn't going to do it so thank you yeah and i don't think you took it like i don't i think it was like a whatever yeah that's how they took it if it was like your best your bestie it was like listen no you wouldn't oh my goodness i wouldn't none of my friends even have eligible bachelors that they okay first of all i had a best friend that told some dude that whatever the stories that he heard between my best friend and her boyfriend at the time, he thought that I was nothing more but a gold digger. Oh, wow. Well, that's... Like, and he really looked me dead in my that's face true, and though, was just right? like, no, I'm not a gold digger. <laughs> oh, but he really <laughs> looked in my face and was just like, yeah, I don't think of you nothing more but a what? gold digger. Wow. I was like, why do you say that? He was like, oh, oh because so of the your stories friends, I heard. So you're saying that you think that your friends who would set you up, it would kind of be on a shady, like, tip. It, it you, might. Be. Who knows when what she told the guys? Friends. I, I if I said that I was going to set you up with somebody, really, she would go. seriously, she would. No. Yes, she you would. wouldn't. No. Yes, she would. Who? Who? Girl, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, was about to, I was about to let out a cuss word. Who was this guy that you brought on that? Supposed first of all, he was cute. The what? one that I brought. Cute to who? Wait, wait, right, but was it cute? <laughs> He was for like me. twenty, right? Was he for cute Lady for Hustle? Me? Was it? He was cute for no, you. No, he you're was. Lying. No, he was. No, exactly. you know, but you know Lady Hustle's it, type. Like, ten years and he was in the there. Game. He was there. It do- he was right in the pocket. Okay. Wait, but let me just say that the time that you guys did the <laughs> shot at love with feisty Pisces, the first one was good. Chocolate thunder. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which one was the first guy? one? The one that I picked. I mean, he turned it out. He turned out to be an idiot, but he was really cute. Was that in this studio? I'm, I'm no. totally forgetting. The first one, LA Talk Radio. Yeah. Remember? Oh, back, back, back in the day. Yeah. Because we've done this for a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still single. Okay, so that one was a good one, but you haven't yeah, had a good one, one since. Is that no, you guys sucked at the rest. Okay, yeah. so basically, you guys wouldn't trust your. No, friends. I would. I would trust my friends because yeah. my friends know my type. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. I would trust my close friends. Yeah. I mean, I love you, Devin, but uh, yeah, girl. <laughs> you already struck out. Now, who's time. tried online dating? 
I have, and it sucks. This one? Um, I have. Hold, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Hold on just a second. The chat says that Sunny needs to dig you out a little bit. <gasps> That it, it's not gonna that you've been trying to go chocolate. You need to go a little bit of uh, Sunny wants swirling to. it up. <laughs> we all know that. Out. That's probably Sunny in the chat room. That's yeah. Nice. <laughs> Online dating. That's a good question. Yes. I'm the queen, uh-huh. or I used to be the queen of online dating, and then now I don't. And then that's why I think I have nothing but a bunch of like. <laughs> I feel like everyone is just on there now. And the reason why I got off is because I got on online dating right when I broke up with my ex-boyfriend. And his best friend messages me. Oh. He's like, what are you doing on here? And I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed! <laughs> I never, well, then I tried it like four years later. And I met a guy. He pretty much looked like Skeletor. And he was really cute in the picture. But he was really, really nice. And I feel like God is punishing me ever since then. Right, um, God because, is punishing you. Probably. Yeah, he was so nice, treated me like the queen that I am, and queen. because he looked like Skeletor, <laughs> yeah, because he was like all you had to do was feed him a little bit. No, because cook. Do you I know wanna, how to cook? I want to think about my future children. Answer as well. the question. I do know how to cook. I want to think about my future children. Okay, my genes are strong, but I don't know how strong his were. <laughs> I don't want my damn little girl coming out like looking like Skeletor. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that Sunny has um <laughs> Our kids would be like pasty white. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with we that. what they were icy. mixed with. What are you? Are you black? Are you Asian? Are you Okay, let's give up on Sunny, okay? Let's Sunny. <laughs> uh, Sunny is pursuing it hard. Yes, and I have very. a feeling that you are breaking down a little bit to his advances. Sonny's not here to defend himself, and neither am I. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, chat, give it up. Chat. (laughs) Okay, what do you think? Lady Hustler, online dating. You you meet a lot of guys in the club. This is where black people meet. This is where blackpeoplemeet.com. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Should mingle. Um, Online dating is okay. I did hear a rule of thumb is when... You do exchange like messages, like it should only go like a week, maybe a week and a mm-hmm. half. And if he's not asking you out, then you need to just boop, right. and then just go on. I also hey, heard I have that a challenge. the girl should never uh, um, write the message first. Is that true? Yeah, it's still the guys like to pursue. So it's still on online dating when you are the pursuer. It kind of has that uneven mm. footing. And and I would even say don't even let it go a week and a half of chatting. You, you should set something up, a call, coffee date, because the guys get in this loop of just contacting all these pretty girls and let's see who else is out there. Let's see. who right. It's kind of gets mm. addicting, right? You're yeah. like scrolling. In a, in I a, agree with that. Hey, I have a, I have a challenge for us. No, we're not I'm doing out. online dating. Yeah. You need what? No, not I'm doing not doing that. it. Because you're probably already <laughs> on there. Exactly. <laughs> Count me out. You're probably already started the challenge. Like you said, I'll go <laughs> I was saying, how about no, what we can do is we can do like maybe like a blind date where it's like a hidden camera and you're like in the corner. I'll be down to do that. <laughs> No, they tried to set. Everyone's okay, okay. To set up here. Okay, so yeah, this is each other this up. is the thing that I think that we need to do. I think that we should set up <laughs> <laughs> profiles for each other. Oh, and then hell no. Let me absolutely do that. No. Let me have be in charge of your profile. No, what? No, I like she'll that. Do, no, cuz she'll do hey. something stupid like right. Yeah, I know you will. I know you will. What is what like, kind you'll of try to have me with the brokest freaking guy out there? Like, <laughs> you better love him for him because no, no, Maybe she'll write a really good profile up because she she yeah. likes you, so she's gonna gl- make a glowing. Profile she's already up. failed. Okay, well, with I'm me. down for the challenge, so we can do that. Let's do it! Y'all Yay! Can do it for We're you. gonna have a dating <laughs> online dating challenge with who, the who playground. Writes the best p- profile. You do profile. That. And then what happens? I'm, I'm not a, a part of this. And then we're going on dates. Yes. I'm not a part Lady of Hesla, this. Lady this is no, what we're doing. And then what, we don't go not. on the date. Do we, we go on the date? We do go on the Hey, maybe we all go on a date. Double date. With <laughs> 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 all three of us. Yes. Okay, this is in the works, you guys. I'm so this glad. This isn't a reality show. I see yes. it. Seriously. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, you know that these men do not want to get on camera. That's the that's thing. The yeah. one that really that's yeah. why we're it's we're gonna be wearing our little glasses with the camera in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you wearing those glasses at dinner? They're terrible. <laughs> oh, um, the chat says that we can meet people somewhere like 
For example, the DMV. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Real leaders over there. <laughs> Woo! That actually, yeah. I think that's sunny. Is it? Oh, sunny. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, sunny. it is sunny. I hate no, that he's not. there. Look, it What's says Sunnyville. Name? It says Sunnyville. Is it the could name. be sunny. That's probably real. It's probably a catfish, Sunny. <laughs> I, I I almost hate him even sunny, more. Sunny, is for that being really you? Chat. If it's you, Sunny, make a peep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's let's go to break. We have let's go to break, and we'll come back with Lady Hustler under the bleaches. Let's let's just do that. Nothing. We need a break. <laughs> I know. We need to find out if that's Sunny. <laughs> Is it? I think it is. No, it's not. This is a <laughs> exclusive. Devin's Playground, first of all, we just uncovered, we sleuthed <laughs> that Sonny is actually being the biggest creeper McCreeperton. Oh, no. And he is Sonny, in the chat. Right and now? the reason why we know this is because nobody knows, how to spell nor your name. It, does anyone care how to really spell your name, S-U-N-N-E-E. -E. Nobody knows that. Sonny, we know it's you, and you're being a creeper <laughs> McCreeperton. <laughs> So Aww. stop, stop trying to do whatever you you're... guys did miss any though. He's precious. He he is precious. Aww. He is precious. Why, why? Lady Hesla, under um, the bleachers. Well, I didn't even really have anything for under the bleachers, but I did. I guess a question: um, <laughs> What are some things that women shouldn't do while dating? Like if they're just out dating, do they concentrate on one person? Do they? date many people do they like how if you're single i always say date like a guy because uh, there mm. when i was a matchmaker well not when i'm still a matchmaker but <laughs> i remember like a few years ago when i was working at the matchmaking service and the i'd match up a girl with a guy right and she her feedback the next day would be oh jim's fabulous uh put me on hold i don't need to meet anybody else he's everything i'm looking for meanwhile i know that jim is like ah. oh can i have another match <gasps> so i'm like don't put yourself on hold after one or two dates right. you don't even know what if the guy wants to see you again just get out there and tell you know that it's exclusive he's the right yeah. guy for you be dating you don't need yeah. to tell people but you're looking for the right person so you should be out there meeting people Exactly. That's yeah. what I say. Let's make it happen. <laughs> so I'm. Um, while we're dating, are we having sex with these guys or no? Well, I'm not. No. <laughs> I don't think well, you I'm are. not either, Marla. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I don't recommend that. I'm right, going right, being a slut right. all over town. <laughs> you know, if that's what you want to do, but oh, I stop. But slut. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's always this thing about you know when do you have sex with a guy and the, they're pushing and should you d do it on the first date and you know. We We've all, a lot of us have done that on the first date. And then some people say, well, it can turn into a relationship. 
Most likely it won't because right. I've, I've talked to a lot of guys and I asked their opinion on that. I said, what if a woman sleeps with you on the first date, what do you think? Do you judge her? What? And, and a lot of them will say, well, I think if she would do it with me, she's doing it with everybody mm. on the first date. Yeah. And they might not say that, but they might think that. And yes, it can turn into a relationship, those odd ones that do after that, but I wouldn't recommend uh, it. Men are so irritating with that. <laughs> <laughs> but are there men that actually come to you that are really looking to be matched up to fall in love well like, that's what the... my service is all about it's it's about long-term relationship or marriage so yeah who's, my it's who's not just more a dating to... service it's the men are my pain most of the men are my paying clients oh, okay yeah that's it's like kind of like the patty stanger she has the millionaire guys that come and yeah and the girls get to sign the up girls for are, okay. how do you yeah, get exactly. the girls like how, how does that happen well i've been doing it so long that i have a big database but People will email me from, you know, maybe they'll hear me, t- you know, see me tonight or they read my blog, they read my books, their friends send them. I have mm-hmm. recruiters. I uh, work with other matchmakers. We help each other out. So I'm every week I'm getting new girls. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Ladies. Oh, my All right, goodness. Devin. There you go. <laughs> I'm Bye, telling you. I'm telling you. What are we... We're, you think we're ready for love now? You think that we can oh, do gosh. this, go out into the world and find... Yeah. Well, for Devin, uh, she brought up the age factor with her redhead friend. What do you What do you feel about age differences? I I think it's okay. It just depends whether you know if if a woman's in her forties and she's dating a guy in their twenties or thirties, does he want kids? You know, that's going to be a factor later. Right. Um, it It just depends. It can work. You know, you just. I'm all for live in the now and have fun, but be aware of what future things could come up and, and see if that's going to cause a problem like, like kids. Or yeah. Whatever. yeah. But uh, if you're having fun and you get along great, go for it. Yeah, yeah. I say go Enjoy for yourself. it. Why not? No, Why not? But seriously, Devin, is this really going to change your outlook? I, my outlook is because, always Because, I mean, changing. you are already trying to make me blast and making me feel like, oh, I'm just ready to just fall in love like you are you ready to fall ready. in love you are yeah you've always this is been something ready. we all know about you oh yeah. that's sweet <laughs> well, we're just saying we're just keeping it real we all know this about you 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 we know this you want that you want yeah. the guy you want you that person what? i'm sorry because maybe i see my parents you know just be in love and, and i'm, I'm just, not nobody's I, mad about yeah, that i know but, but i'm not blaming trying to you my you. god I'm trying to date men. Okay, first of all, why are you <laughs> getting defensive? Men do not want to fall this is a this is a problem. Why are you That's trying to get defensive? Because I told you I was going to cry by the end of the show, and I have oh 15 God. minutes to do so. The, well, is this going to make you happy? The chat says you look like Rihanna. No, <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> the chat says oh, wow. Rihanna. There we go. And that's probably why you can't keep a state a, a stable but, mate, <laughs> but because so you're. You're you're just so leggy, you know. She's so leggy, you know. It's you know, women it's like fine. that they get a, they get around to other. I don't know. Yeah, please. Stop. Okay, sorry. I hope, I no, but everyone's open. pretty open. Um, we just need some candidates, right? Or the well, store is open, this. but we need some shoppers. Hi. <laughs> we're gonna do this special. online dating thing. That's what we're gonna do. You guys already, can but do what that. site are you gonna do? I I'm want you putting you. me on like Plenty of Fish seems to be pretty popular now. Ooh. No, that's not that's yeah. plenty of people that wanna have sex. That's it. Uh, what? I people who want to have sex? Oh, oh no. That's <laughs> no. I'm a nun. Do you have any other besides plenty of fish? Any other? Well, lately that? people have been telling me they found their mate, their boyfriend, or girlfriend I've, on plenty of fish. I've heard that too. Yeah. You know, I was it on seems plenty like of it's fish pretty a few years ago, but I, I haven't been okay, there in a long time. There's going to be one rule: don't put me on plenty of fish. No, no we're not going to go on. Plenty okay, of fish. what 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 site? Christian mingle. I don't want black people meet either. How about seeing where senior people meet? <laughs> you know, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the chat Sorry. says, OK, Cupid. And Sonny says, Feist. this is how Sonny would say it if he was here. But he's on the chat, so he can't really say it. Uh, oh, my God. Feist. Feist. Sonny, <laughs> I'm Feist, telling you. Se- oh, my gosh. Feist, you. Sonny does not do that. You sexy as fuck. Sonny, this is, OK. <laughs> We have an off and on co-host male. It's totally head over heels. Feisty is sexy. Don't say that. that. Like that. Don't say that. He's no, he over. is. No, and she's not open. And she's not love. open. We play around a lot, Marla, and they take it serious. No, well, he's, not, he's I, serious. It's not going to go down until <laughs> I don't know. Until we see. Did you see the dick pic already? Did you see it? Oh. <gasps> Okay, well, that's Sorry, not I, I hit a chord. Let's take a 
break on that note. About? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm Devin sorry. is single. Potty mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's wanna... take a break. <laughs> Sunny, get off the chat. Sunny, I miss you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell me, how did you break my heart when our love had no chance? Gosh, I'm so excited that this new challenge is shaping up because Feisty just confirmed that we are going to do this online dating challenge. So All right. sorry, Sunny, unless you have a yes, Sunny, profile. The thing on, about Sunny is yeah. he hasn't even asked me on a date. So I mean, if you really... Ooh, Sunny. Well, he's messing challenge. up. He well, definitely the thing is, is, is messing up. If you want more information regarding our singers, Brendan. Well, okay, yeah. yeah. Our music today. Our music tell, is... Feisty but, is it all Brendan? Um, three songs. Three, three songs, songs are by yeah. Brendan. So if you need more information, um, I just got out of the thing. If you need more information, you're going to get back to me. I'll have okay. <laughs> We're going to get more information on our singer for our songs today. But let's talk about um, our dating, our our little dating challenge that we're going to do. You're not going to go in it no. with us? No. And Fine. why is that? More because I don't want to. I have my eye on the prize. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, so I don't need online. So dating. is somebody? Oh, in... you don't need it. So we're desperate. Uh-oh. I didn't say it. I just said I don't need it. <laughs> so is somebody in the um? <laughs> somebody's eye on the prize. And and is the prize who's is like, the prize? Is the prize in your. So is, is the prize in your sights? Is what I'm saying. And do you see how she is? She's like closing her mouth because she's <laughs> all she's smitten about somebody. Is. Who is this person? Does there is matter? a person. Oh my god. Um, are you gonna give out this number? Yes. Thank you. We have it back up. So okay. if you want more information regarding Brendan, the lovely from West Coast fam, 626-226-7419. There you go. Thank you for that. And I have to tell you, the chats, the chat seems to know a lot about you. They actually said that you look like the type of broad that... Broad? Like... <laughs> That likes to have her hair pulled. Mm, it is real, so you can pull. <laughs> <laughs> I do like my hair pulled a little bit. Okay, all right. A little little hair pulling never heard. Well, uh, God, why do I say things? Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, all right, what Marla, let's see. So if I asked you, okay, Sunny, so if I asked you, this, he's in the chat right now. <laughs> Basically, oh, this is how creepy this has to happen. <laughs> Everybody, you have to know this. So, Sunny, if I asked you on a date, would you really be ready for me? <gasps> God, What's ready so for gross. you, though, Sunny? I don't understand. You have to I hate say when guys so say gross. this. Yeah, I don't ready? understand. I don't like when guys yeah, say Yeah, what's that. ready? You're going to be ready you for me? You made yourself look like a pervy McPerverton. A date is a date. Yeah, a date. What do you have to be ready for, Sunny? Yeah. A gentleman's not going to say that. Oh, oh thank you. Whoa, thank you. Sunny. Thank, thank you, Marla. Thank, thank you, Marla. you, exactly. See? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this right now. I think we're going to say goodnight. What do you think? We're, we're gonna, Why, do we have one more break about no? our challenge? Well, I'm going, we're going to talk about it next week. I think it's going to be up No, but what's going to be the challenge, though? Like, the what challenge exactly, who is, goes on the date first? Or No, the challenge is that we are going to <laughs> have these dating profiles... And I think that we're just going to set up dates on the dating profiles and then go on. I don't understand what you're even saying. Right. You guys are going to write each other's, remember? We're going to write each other's. And then what we're going to just 
end up being on a blind date that yes. the other person is sending you out on? Yeah, that's it. And then report on it. But then Perfect. I, I want you to be serious, though. Like, don't send me out with freaking crazy person. I'm not. I'm going to watch I over her. Yeah, I'm scared, Lady Hustle. But I'm after to... that ordeal she pulled with me, I was like, oh, I'm no. always down for a challenge, though. Yeah, let's, let's go. do it. Okay. Let's have... Okay. So, Excuse me. Hi. Who wrote West Coast Family says in the chat, he says, thank you, ladies. This summer, I'm taking over. And uh, hold on. I'm taking over. Good night, ladies. And good listening to you, Marla. Oh, they like you. Oh, oh, wait, yes. before, wait. I know we focus on you ladies because you're single. Oh, sorry. I'm, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm in a loving relationship. I've been happy. I've had wow. my fair... Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> I've had my fair share of relationship issues. Like you said, I had to take a break to set out what I wanted. And that's exactly what I got. And I know you've been married for twelve years. So my question to you is, what are the what are the keys to a lasting relationship that you? Well, I'll give you my husband's tip, and he says the the key to a, a good and lasting relationship is have a short memory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so that makes argue, sense. Actually, well, you know, we do squabble. I mean, he's Latin, and I'm a crazy redhead, and you know, <laughs> so but we make up right away. It's okay. really in- interesting because we can like get on each other's nerves and butt heads but it's over and then mm. we just we know we say we're best friends we love each other we're partners we're in it together and we have a lot of fun together and you just have to let the other stuff so don't hold, don't hold grudges don't no hold grudges you, you, you know, never you, go to bed mad no it's right. not worth it and then you think sometimes the, you'll, your guy will get on your nerves so bad but yeah. then you think gosh if he wasn't he, you know my husband works nights and then I think oh what if he didn't come back one night or what if something happened yeah. to him mm. god I would just love to see that that towel all scrunched up where he just throws it or <laughs> Right. socks on the floor you know when, when right. you're mad at that and you're like no but I'd do anything to see that again you know so think about what's really important. do you believe in the 80 20 rule do you know what that is what is that 80? that, <laughs> that um, in a relationship you the most you get is 80 percent of whatever you need oh and yeah, the, and I, dating too because people want 100 percent on their list and right it's like, you know if you get 70 or 80 percent of the things that you're hoping for in right a person, then you know go ahead because otherwise you could be single forever mm-hmm. yes ladies marla you were wonderful for us tonight <laughs> i want you to give out first of all your links again and um, where people can contact you, the name of the book again, okay. and where they can find it. You can find me at www.marlamartinson.com, M-A-R-L-A-M-A-R-T-E-N-S-O-N. Hey. And my new book is called Hearts on the Line. It's on um, Amazon, and uh, it's in Kindle, it's in paperback, and I've got four books on there, and a short story called Amateur Night for 99 nice. cents. How it's cute. about my adventures as a waitress in Chicago. <laughs> All right, now since we did this, since we since we did this tonight, and we talk so much about relationships and what we want, and Siobhan, you know, she's in her relationship, but she, you know, wants to keep it strong. We're gonna say good night. We're gonna say good night to our fans, of course. Good night to the chat who says, um, they love you, by the way. They said you're marvelous. Our yes. our, our fan Asa says that you are marvelous. But we're all gonna say good night. And I think we're just going to put in the atmosphere what we want from love. Okay. The positive things that we want from love, no matter if we're single, in a relationship. So say goodnight to the fans. Give out your links one more time. What you want from love. And let's go. Feisty? I just want love. <laughs> <laughs> what you want? What do you want your love to feel like? Give it a... Um, give it I a want him to adjective. seriously... I want us to just adore each other. Mm. I want him to feel like... I don't need to go nowhere else. Like I got You want it to feel like chocolate plate chocolate cake on a china plate. Mm. That's what Ooh. I like. Yeah. All alone, baby. <laughs> yeah. And so you can find me oh. or these. Oh Feisty Pisces F three I S T Y P I S C E S. Gmail, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. Lady Hesla. Um what do I want from love? Yeah, love? No, no, no. Um Give a positive vibe to the love that you I want. want the same thing that my parents had. Mm. That was a wonderful thing growing up as as a child. Give so it that's an adjective. Give it a give it a word. What did it feel like? What what did um, it look like? What he, do you think he of? He loved you... her just as much as she loved him. It was an equal equal love. A partnership. Yeah. Um Facebook, Hustlerville is my fan page. 
That's it. Okay. Siobhan. Um, <laughs> everlasting love and partnership for life. Yeah. Um, that's it. Because I'm happy right now. So, what, is, um, what are you smiling at? <laughs> give, give out your links. Um, okay, so Siobhan Fruget on Facebook, C H E V A U G H N F R U G E. And Twitter is Creole Chica One. Good night. And Marley, do you want to give out your little positive vibes for you? Yes. Your... Oh, I just uh, wish, I know there's a top for every pot. And don't give up on love and stay positive and yeah. love your life. Oh, yeah, very nice. I like that. A top. Well, right I have to tell you guys, I need the top for this pot. <laughs> this is a pot. Okay. Is that boiling over? And it is <laughs> boiling with love, oh love. And I'm ready to feel it inside of my soul, inside of my body, inside of my mind, okay, and everywhere see. in between. Oh, okay. oh woo! Woo! do it. That's an affirmation. Right? Woo! Right. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love you guys. Devin, Devin, Devin. Woo! Bye. 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 <laughs>